I'm Wendy with Nashville Restoration and I'm going to show you how to distress a dresser with Vaseline. I think we're going to do this dresser in red and we're going to let some of this dark wood show through. I'm going to sand some of this off because even though you don't need to prep and sand much for chalk paint, it's just too much stuff to leave on there, dirt and things peeling off. I make my own chalk paint for cost and for colors. For this, I'm going to use Valspar paints I got from Lowe's. These are about $3 per container. I'm going to use Oso oh Red and Ripe Pomegranate. I wanted to do kind of a sunset feel, and these are the colors that I felt best suited that. You will need Plaster of Paris to make your chalk paint. You will need Vaseline and Clear Wax. I make my own Clear Wax along with making my own chalk paint, and both of those recipe Links are at the end of this video if you want to save some money and make your own stuff. So let's get started. I'm gonna put Vaseline everywhere that I want this dresser to be distressed. So I'm gonna do it on the edges. And then in areas where paint would naturally be chipped off or chippy, do a little bit around the handles, be a little thicker up here, a little wider. Here and there I want to just do some little dots and splotches just distribute those a little bit. I like using the paintbrush, but I also use my hands a lot when I paint. got the Vaseline everywhere I want it on the dresser. I have mixed up my ripe pomegranate into chalk paint. So I'm going to just put this base color on here. We'll probably have to do the base color in two coats just because this wood is so dark. I'll probably come back and add a little more. So I'm just going to kind of haphazardly paint this, I'm not trying to be neat, but definitely not trying to have any drips. So I don't want to work the paint too much as to not disturb the Vaseline too much. When I come back on the second coat, I can kind of get it more how I want it right now. I just want this on here. without too much brushing. I'm back and the first coat is pretty much dry. I'm just going to do a second coat on some places. And what this will do is it will actually appear to put different shades of orange under this. So when we distress this and take the Vaseline off, it will be layered with seemingly more colors than it actually is. So that's it. Just sort of sporadically put some here and there and let this dry. Oh, I should have said uh, the first coat of paint dry for at least two hours. The second coat of paint, since there's not much, we can probably go an hour and be okay before we come back for the next step. Before I add the red, I want to take off some of this orange and see what I have. I'm 
I have a feeling I'm going to love this dresser. The paint rubs right off, of course, where the Vaseline was. Now I'm going to take the Vaseline again and I'm going to put it here and there. I want some of this orange to show through. So I'm doing the little dabs. I will not actually try to put this red paint all over this dresser. The spots that I like like along here, I might put very little, if any, there. So I'm not going to come back and try to do everything. I'm going to come back and try to make it look chippy. Here's my red chalk paint that I mixed up. I mixed this up pretty thick, or thicker than the last, because I want it to, I want it to cover better. This I also want to intentionally leave darker in some spots than others to add to the distressed look. This coat I'm going to let dry for at least four hours, or in my case overnight because it's already midnight. be back after this dries for the next segment. Like I said, four hours to dry or overnight. And then we will do the next step. This does look like it has more orange than I want, so I'm going to add the third color on here. This is a very red red. So I'm going to kind of put it where I put the second color. and this will take a lot of this orange out of here. Stuff I like on here, I am not gonna go over again. I'm just gonna kind of paint around it. So this will end up being a three color chippy paint. with tons of layers. Okay, I will finish the rest of this off camera and then we will come back for the next step. All right, it's time to see what we got.
I'm just going to sand this a little bit. I want it to look distressed and like this has been painted over and over again for the last 50 years. So I'm going to take off some of this surface. I'm using a 180 grit sandpaper and I've just got it wrapped on a sanding sponge but really any kind of sandpaper will do. It will get very gunked up from leftover Vaseline so be ready to go through some sandpaper. And this is also another way to make sure that the all the Vaseline is off. All right, we're at the final step for this dresser. We're gonna put some clear wax on it. I like to put my clear wax on with the rag. This is uh, clear wax that I make here. There is a recipe link at the end of this video for it. It cost a third of pre-made wax. So, I save a lot of money like this. I also came back and made these knobs all the way red. And I put a little bit of red right in these cracks right here. So I thought that would look cool. And a little bit of red along the edges right here. So that would just be a kind of a nice accent. So I probably don't have to show you how to clear wax, so I will finish this up and then come back and video the finished product.